discussion? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we have information about the different wines. And we, we have the dryness of each wine, the alcohol <coughs> content of each wine, and whether a specific person like it or not. And then we have another wine called uh, Hardy Rosa, Hardy Zinnachtel, and we have also this data, right? What is this data? What is it? Eight. Two point five. Let's see. Right there, about six scores. Two point five. So we know that it's two point five dryness and six alcohol. Oh, and now I need, thank you. I need to predict if I'm going to like it or not. So one thing they did here can actually be helpful, but we're not going to do it this way. They can actually do it graphically. So you can see alcohol and dryness, and I can just look which distance is the closest. So I see that which are the two wines that are closest to Harley? Two and three. Two and three. Yeah. We'll do it with Excel, but let's just do it qualitatively for a second. Two and three are the, the closest. And this is Kenya's neighbor. How much is Kenya? Three. Three? Okay, so two, three, and what is the last one? <coughs> is it one or is it four? I think it's four, okay? Let's, let, let's assume for a second that the nearest neighbors are two, three, and four. Five. Sounds like five. Sorry? Five? Okay, two, three, and five. So based on two, three, and five, I can see that, hey, Two, I like two. Three, I don't like it. And five, I don't like it. So the probability that I will like this new wine, I will, I will estimate it based on three nearest neighbor on 33%, one over three. Okay? Is, the, is what I did now clear? Before we do it qualitatively? Quantitatively? Okay, so let's go through that. Okay, so as you remember, I have, I have the data here about all the wines. In order to use their formulas, I must, and I will do it in two ways. I will do it using their formulas, and I will use it like manually putting the formulas. So what was the dryness? It was 6 and 2.5, right? Yeah. Yeah. 2.5 in dryness. So the distance again, I will use K and M. This, I will choose all this table, and I will use this pivot. Enter, shift them down. What's your pivot? The first one. The pivot is the is sorry, my mistake. It's not the first one. It was the first one before. Now what's the pivot? It's the 11 one, right? It's obvious. Why would, why would you not put column D in? And why would you put column A in? Yeah, why A? It's a mistake. You asked me. Should be like that, okay? Mm -hmm. B and C. I don't care about the light or not. These are the dryness and the alcohol content is what I am <coughs> uh, judging about. Okay, thank you. The pivot shouldn't include that. Got the same differences as, as I got? No. Yes, no, who didn't got it? Uh, yeah. Someone didn't got it? Okay, I'll take it. I got it. So, who are the most similar to me? To, not to me, to 11. 
I say that I don't like five. I don't like three and I like two. So based on that, the probability that I will like the new one is one out of three. Now, I think, to be honest with you, when I do this um, questions, I usually don't use the KNN distance. I, I do it like, like that. <coughs> take the square root, and then I take the difference. So the difference is the dryness <coughs> minus Can we just use the add? Like, do you think we need to? Yeah. To not to use this? I think so. I don't really know. If, if you think it's like comfortable enough with the adding, it's okay. I feel it's good to know. Uh, it can be helpful. So. so I will lock B12 and C12, okay, because I don't want to change these cells. This is this distance. You can see that it's different than what I got here with the adding. We will show, we'll see why, but let's for a second just use it. Okay, it seems okay. And based on that, I will have the same uh, conclusion. This is this, the most close, this one and this one. So first we, we see that we got the same result. Okay, good here, we got the same result. Just like <coughs> what they do in the formula, so this is the formula that you learn in class, what I did here. But what the formula of them do, it's like assign weights. So it's assigned the same weight, it's 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, which is the same one as, as assigning 1 and 1. And then you see I, got, I get the same, the same result in Vegas. Okay, so it's not. Okay, now let's uh, look at the next question. So we did which are the three wines that are nearest, we said, what are the unweighted? Three next neighbor are going to predict the probability that the subscriber will like. You said 32%. After more research, Dell determines that dryness is way more important than alcohol content. Determining whether or not someone will like to see And it's just that the dryness is weighted 10 times as much as the alcohol content. Determining overall distance, using this uh, weight, what are the three next neighbor to the target distance? Okay. What does the business say? Let's get to the okay. So again, I will start with my way to do that. I will just <coughs> change the weight. So dryness is one of ten. Uh, what do you say? Dryness is more important, so I will put ten scores. And to the other one I will give one score. I got these distances. Okay, let's see what the most similar. So how do we do it on the function here? I will I will get so um, I see that two is still very similar. Now one has become very similar. And the last one I think it's three. Five? It's one to three. So based on that, I can see that now, because I like one, I like two, and I don't like three, it's 66%. Okay. In terms of the formula, I can put 10 and one as the weights. 
pair we put somewhere. And then in the weight part of the formula, the vector I will use 10 and 1. Also in this way, I get one, two, and three. Again, the result, the distances themselves could be different from the two ways, just because the weights that they put is not 10 and one, it's like 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 or something like 0 0.09 or something like that. They like uh, normalize them. But it doesn't matter in terms of the result. Um, so this is any questions about that? Question? No, it's clear. Well, are just very different numbers. The, the numbers are different? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Using the add in versus the <coughs> Yeah, so yeah. I use 10 and 1. It's perfectly okay. You can solve it this way, it's totally okay. The, the uh, plugin, when I use 10 and 1, it do a normalization of the weight before putting the weight. Mm. It will make them equal to 1, to the sound of them equal to 1. If I would change the weight to be um, yeah, yeah. <coughs> 10 over 11 and 1 over 11 would get not some result. But Are they margin? Are they margin? margin? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you're passing by. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Wow. What are they doing? How many six people? There's only six people. No. How many are there? Yeah, I'll put it down. Is it actually a small bed? Yeah. 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 Why are they doing it? Are they interacting? I have no idea. Are they in uniforms? 